The tribe's caught a fluffy hog. Better watch out, it's no pet. They couldn't keep it down. Fluff hulks on the loose. It's everywhere. They've received news a Ronin joined the tribe's ranks and were looking forward to meeting you. Tabuyu Mama. A group of Jagni warriors are already waiting for you at Myriad's Vespidut outpost. Surun Faltuk. You should hurry there and help them storm the outpost. Surun Faltuk. Mercy is for the weak. The Jagni tribe seek no one's sympathy. Look, an emergency box from the old days. Wow, bet that nut makes a tight fist.
Tunnels like this still carry echoes from the past. Can you hear it? Fest. A smart foe would leave now. That notice board, filled with the leftovers of used to be once. You're getting close to one of those old Toxanol brick towns. Pay attention. The Toxanol Corporation made this place. Well, small ones. Places like this were cheap back in those days, and there was plenty of space. Get done with one place, you just build another. There must be a track somewhere in this brick town. Just hope it's not buried. Could be something sneaking around every tree. It's Peekaboo Park. Young ones love this sort of place. That's a myriad tribe outpost. Gross. This place stinks. The Vespidut outpost, long time home of the Myriad tribe. Nice and clear out today.
We are Wamto. Says you need to hit them where it hurts, inflict as much suffering as possible, and make it clear your tribe is a terror to their existence. Murder and mayhem and other terrible things happen. He's sure you've seen it before. Here's the first line of defense. It's a bomb lock. Give those twirly wheels a turn. Yes, the river tubs going down the drain. Keep going. That cage is holding a helper. Says they've been treated fair, but is glad to see you. Hopes you'll treat the rivals with the same respect they treated them. Grateful that you're willing to move past this like them.
a sharpshooter. The scaffolding looks unstable. Better stay clear of the Red Ray. Here's the second line of defense. Red means danger. Timber. Bet a big bump will bring it down. Switched off the light. A barrel shoot. Smack it to get a barrel out of it, then hit it toward the gate and blast it. That looks splody. Kaboom! You're in. Almost there. Shoot it and watch it blow. Not too close, though. The outpost belongs to your tribe now. He says you made them weaker, but they won't give up. Your Sifu thanks you. Your tribe is growing stronger. Says you did a great job capturing the outpost. You've earned the privilege of carrying the tribe's weapon. Says you're lucky to have the honor. Out of date says he's doing his best to keep up, but from what he can tell, it seems you're making progress with the tribe conflict. He had a feeling you'd get along with the Jagni tribe, but it remains to be seen what the future holds for your alliance. You to get along with the Jagni tribe, which doesn't come as a surprise as you share an ominous outlook on life. But Out of Date emphasizes that solving the tribe conflict won't matter unless you help make a stand against the World Eaters. That's the sound of impending doom. Out of date's premonitions of imminent disaster are true. The Porky Puff needs to be handled. He says the time has come to confront the Porky Puff at the end of the East Route. Goop is working on making his goo glide strong enough to break the waves out to the World Eater. You should get over there and see what you can do to help.
Don't get distracted by all the destruction you can see this time of day. There's Subnautica Station. Goop flounders around in there. It's possible to overchill. Jungle. Jungle. Says it's good to see you again. He's Goop. You might remember him from the old days when he tried to teach you how to swim. Jungle. Goop says you were always so righteous as a child, and he can still feel it, even at a distance. Jungle. Goop says memories fade surprisingly fast. We are all pieces of what we remember. It's only together we can remember the story as it was. He recalls you wouldn't put in the time required to learn how to swim. He bets you regret that now. He understands you've returned to face Lupa Lupin. That's the destiny you've been carrying within yourself all these years. He says that the catastrophe back then didn't vanquish the good in you. It's still there, as bright as when you were a child. Now the time has come for you to remember and act. Your life is your life, not the story you're told about it. He understands why you seek revenge, but he doesn't think you realize how that'll make you feel once you claimed it. Yes, that's the way. No arguing with that. Sometimes your gut is flat out wrong. Don't ever doubt yourself. You are number one. Even the dark knows you're better than... Stick with me. We'll rule the world. Figures the world is a goner. Even the goo will go gong gong. Wishes you hadn't done so much to make the goo even gooier. Wonders why you're flapping around with the Jagni. They spend too much time nesting to do anything fun. But hey, back to the goo. Knows yesterday is already gone. It's what you do today and tomorrow that'll move you forward. You need to set the past aside, at least for now. He cleaved the Subnautica station, as the pollution has worn down the insulation of his suit. So you must salvage enough scrap to fix up his goo glide, starting with the old wreck box outside. You should return when you've retrieved the scrap. There's no time to waste if you want to make the goo glide strong enough. To... Your luck way, 
there's still cargo left on the shores from before the apocalypse. His best guess is a power tanker hit a reef and went under. <laughs>